Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today's video is all about procrastination because I'm a procrastinator really bad. I'm a really bad procrastinator or a really good one depending on how you look at it. I wanted to talk about some things that I do to help myself with the whole procrastination thing because it really is bad. I am a person who generally likes to not do anything like I mean if I had it my way I just like I like to read I like to watch TV like those are not things that get stuff done but I'm a very busy lady these days my school semester just started so I'm in my last semester of my sign language interpreting program so I go to school Tuesdays and Thursdays at night and then I also work full time Sunday through Thursday. I like to make videos on YouTube so I post two days a week on this channel and two days a week on my other channel and like I said, busy. With that said, I have learned some skills that I do like to use that don't always work because procrastination, but these are some things that I do like to try to utilize in order to maintain my busy schedule. I also have a video up that is kind of similar to this that's all about organization. So there are some more details in there about like the way that I organize, but this video is more about taking steps to keep myself accountable, I guess. One of the big things that I do is make to-do lists. I make to-do lists in my planner, which is something that I've shown in that other video, like I said. So I try to write out not only, I'm trying to find a good, there's a good one. So I try to write out not only like my daily ones, and if I don't do it, so I make check marks. If I do it, I get to check it off. If I don't do it, I cross it out and rewrite it on the next day. I don't leave it just right there. I make a new list. So that's something I find is really like something I don't like to do. I don't like to have to write it down again. I don't like that I didn't complete the task. So if I've written it down, I'm more likely to get to it. And then the other thing that I also utilize is down here in this box is like notes and next week. Now I write it for this week because I want to be able to see it. So if I write my notes for next week in this box, then when I flip to that week and I have to do it, I don't see it. So that's something that I've learned works best for me. I tend to use this box for my homework because it's not a specific day that it needs to get done throughout the week. It's just due on you know, Tuesday next week, so I'm gonna do all of it at some point this week. And I check box, I make check boxes for every single thing that I need to do. I find that that also helps because being able to tick something off makes me feel accomplished. And making myself feel accomplished makes me wanna do more things and accomplish more things. The other thing that I always do with my to-do list is I write down the, the little stuff too. So like, I need to fold the laundry. That's not something that that's hot, that, that is that hard, but I still write it down. I know I need to do taxes. I've written taxes down like 4,000 times in my planner because I'm procrastinating doing it. It needs to get done. Errands, anything that needs to get done gets put on this list. So that is a big one for me for procrastination. The other thing that I do talking about college specifically is I take all of my syllabi and I write down all of the exams into my planner on in the first week of school. Um, and then that way, on all of my monthly ones, I have these big red writings of when exams are. And it, even though it might change, that's what whiteout is for. It's okay if it changes, but if it doesn't change, then I know, oh, there's an exam coming up soon. Things like papers, things like exams, um, if I'm taking an online class, I'll write the, the discussion posts that are due on a weekly basis all in the monthly planner just like it is on my weekly one because I like to see the month spread out. The other thing that I like to do is I put my, if we're going out of town or if there's an event or something, I make sure to put that in a different color on my monthly spreads because that way I know, oh, well, that week, that weekend, I'm not going to be able to get my normal scheduled errands done so I need to figure out when to do it otherwise. Some other things that have really helped me with procrastination is like I know that I usually do laundry on a specific day and it's actually changing right now because I'm trying to get used to this new schedule. I was usually doing it on Fridays so that's kind of still the day that I do it but 
it's been a transitionary period at this exact moment, so it hasn't been getting done at the same day every time. But in general, I know that that's laundry day. Same with like painting my nails. I always do it on Sunday. I don't know. It's just something that I do on Sunday. Those like, those boring weekly errands that need to get done. Laundry is the big one, I would say, for me. The other thing that I really procrastinate on is like putting the dishes away. I just leave them in the dishwasher a lot. And so something that I've learned for that is to write it down on my list because then I want to check it off. So that's really my biggest suggestion and encouragement for procrastination is making to-do lists. And also, especially for the school stuff, is putting all of that into a planner. But pretty much every day I start my day with making a to-do list. Not starting it like right away. I go to the gym first, but I start my at least work day with a to-do list and I have a to-do list for work too but that's on my work computer. I do really like to write things down when I can but with work it's easier to do it on my computer because I don't have like an office and a desk where I do all of my work on. I, I move around with my computer to different locations. I do write my notes on like the stickies in my computer um, but yeah to-do lists very important very very important make them do them use them and actually check it off. It's so nice. And if you don't do it, then cross it out and write it again on the next day that you need to do it. Don't just leave it there and think, oh, I'll look back up. No, you won't. You won't look back up. You'll forget or you'll be like, eh, if it wasn't important on Monday, then it's not important on Tuesday and you just won't do it. The other thing for like, I'm a big binge TV show watcher and it's really hard. There's actually like studies that show the way that like Netflix and Hulu and everything like makes a little countdown and then starts the next episode. It's it's made so that you will continue watching. It is psychologically the perfect time frame of just short enough so that you don't feel compelled to walk away and you feel compelled to stay sitting. So something that I've also done is make a timer for myself, like not just in my head of saying, oh, I'll only watch one episode, but like actually setting a timer so that I have to pause it when the timer goes off. If it's like laundry day or something, I'll say that like while the laundry is doing its wash, I'll watch a show, but then while the laundry is doing its dry, then I need to do something else. And that way that is the timer because I have to get up and change the laundry anyway. So I've gotten up, I've gotten away from the computer. Some other tips for that would be like every time that an episode ends, make it so that you have to get up and do something like getting a drink of water or peeing or something, something that's like actually you need to do, your body is telling you to do. While you're up, have something in mind that you're gonna also do like an errand type thing because now you're away from the computer. You've already paused it etc. Don't like let it play while you go into the kitchen to grab the water. Pause it, go get the water. Then you'll feel more compelled to like do that one other step of something else. Those are some tips for procrastination. I definitely struggle a lot with procrastination and I myself am trying to learn how to be better about it. So if you have any tips for me, I would love to hear them in the comments down below, please. So thank you for that in advance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel, so I'll see you guys very, very soon with a new one. Bye!